let's get straight into it. Last Friday night at the Oakley Cannons Ground, a healthy crowd indeed, well over 3,000 people witnessed a blockbuster game between, of course, Oakley Cannons and South Melbourne. Let's cross now to Arthur Akratides with all the action. Thanks, Ross, and uh, welcome to this very chilly evening here at Jack Edwards Reserve. And as you can see, the people are already coming through the gates. We've already got about 2,000 people plus at the game at the moment. Just about, um, about 10 minutes before kickoff. And today's game promises to be the match of the week with the Oakley Cannons and South Melbourne vying to see who can really get the upper hand here. And the lineups for today, the Oakley Cannons in goals. Number one, Stuart Webster. Number two, Adam Ewan. Number three, Marcus Sturgeopoulos. Number five, Felix Rossman. Number 10, Anthony Pelican. Number 11, Juan Nilo. Number 12, Asala Masi. Number 14, Bill Damianos. Number 17, Anton Kavasovic. Number 22, Sam Putakidis. And number 25, Scott Webster. South Melbourne, in goal, the youngster, Mladen Tosic. Number three, Sam DeVito. Number four, Stephen Adore. Number seven, Trent Waterson. Number nine, Nathan Caldwell. Number 11, Ricky Diaco. Number 12, Dino Jubic. Number 10, Ramazan Davzanoglu. Number 15, Fernando de Moraes. Number 17, Nicholas Curtis. And number 18, Yusuf Yusuf. Just about to start here at Jack Edwards Reserve. And the referee is Perry Muir for today's game. Very, very important game for both sides. And no doubt that uh, the Cannons uh, want to continue their great run of form on top of the table at the moment. And South Melbourne kicking to the goal left of screen here. Yusuf Yusuf, uh, first run for South Melbourne after his transfer from the Heidelberg Warriors. Fernando. Clearance forward there by Nilo. Chance now for the Cannons. But uh, goalkeeper Tosic uh, easily mopping up. Pretty big boy, 17 years old. Thumping long kick there. Diaco into the box. And a chance there for South Melbourne to try and make an early dent. Fernando, just wide, good effort. And the first chance of the game goes to South Melbourne. Didn't trouble Webster, but uh, it was pretty close to that uh, right-hand side post. Kovacevic, all the way back to Webster. Not a good clearance again by Webster. Chance now for South Melbourne. Fernando and just uh, blocked there. The shot by Curtis. And that's the first corner of the game to South Melbourne. Corner now for South Melbourne. Chance. Deep corner at that. Ball headed back into the mix there. Chance for South Melbourne. The shot. Oh, just wide. Sensational effort that by Ramazan. And just hitting the side netting there, inches wide. And South Melbourne peppering the goals early here. Full forward. Damianos uh, plays it back to Kovacevic, who in turn goes in the box. And the header there by Nilo was quite useful one at that. Into the box and the chance now. Diaco! Oh, and that was a useful effort. Maybe should have gone for the left-hand corner of the goal. No real strain there for Webster, though. Going forward there, Diaco now. Still Diaco. Caldwell. And the ball gets uh, played forward and uh, cleared away by Putakidis. Safety first. And... Uh, Bronx cheers there, but Putakidis made sure in another corner to South Melbourne. 
Corner taken. And all the way back there. And another corner possibly. Sturgeopoulos is there. And he does well to keep the ball in play. Damianos. Close down Sturgeopoulos. Not what you call a great clearance. Ubic. Chance now for Diaco. And in the end, the end product uh, wasn't the greatest. Yeah, good work there by Fernando again. A chance now, Fernando! one nothing, And what a start to the game! And it's Ricky Diaco getting the ball across there. And one goal to nil. Fernando really showing his wares uh, early on here. Sturgeopoulos. Dispossessed of the ball easily there. And did well to get it back. Massey. And South Melbourne go forward. Ramazan getting the ball across. A chance for South Melbourne now. Yusuf. And a chance now. And offside given. And Ramazan was definitely probably half a yard offside. It's a good call from the linesman. Far side of the ground. Massey winning every ball in the air there, but uh, hasn't got much uh, help there from his fellow teammates. Webster does well. Sturgeopoulos did well to get past his man. Still Sturgeopoulos, he goes wide. And offside given. Sense that uh, the Cannons might take a shot on goal here. Pelican, Damian Sturgeopoulos over the ball. Pelican against the wall. Claims for handball there. And nothing given there. It's a corner ball. Long throw forward. Caldwell. Tiago. Fernando. Fernando. And I'll tell you what. Scoop the ball there. Really can't afford to allow him to take shots from goal just outside the box. Throw into the cannons now. South Melbourne go forward again. And there's very, very square in the back, the Cannons. You'd have to say they really have to watch out here because one stray ball and they're completely in trouble. Chance now for Yusuf. He's got Diaco inside if he needs him. Yusuf into the box. And a chance now for South Melbourne cleared away. Fernando! And... Saved by Webster. There wasn't really much power behind the shot. But again, South Melbourne weaving behind the defensive lines of the Cannons. The Cannons getting into the game slowly now. Ramazan clears away only far as Sturgeopoulos. He's gone wide. Damianos and great challenge there to get the ball away. Referee allows play on. A chance now for the Cannons. Nilo. And just wide there. And the Oakley Cannons are slowly getting into this game. Really after the domination early on from South Melbourne. Cannons slowly coming back into fray here. Kovacevic. Good ball to Damianos. Webster goes wide. Kovacevic now again. Kovacevic, can he get it into the box? A chance now. Damianos. Nilo. And some tricky stuff by Nilo. Straight to Tosic. He's gone deep. And not a great kick by Tosic there. And Pelican. Still Pelican. And a penalty's been given. And... Perry Muir 
did not hesitate there to give the penalty away. Young Tosic now versus Pelican. And Oakley Cannon's a chance to equalise. Pelican and just gets it past Tosic. One all. And the Cannons equalise in the 42nd minute here. And we've got a game on here. Very, very important stuff here for the Cannons. A deep curling ball. Massey was there. The ball's headed away. Damianos. Stergiopoulos. And headed away. A chance now again. Cannons a chance to get it away. Damianos. Damianos, great save, Tosic. And corner there. And really, Damianos' shot on goal almost saw the Cannons hit the lead. The Oakley Cannons, another corner. Curling ball, headed away. And another shot. Ricochets away there. The Oakley Cannons, another chance there. And hit the post right across goal. And you'd have to say South Melbourne very, very lucky there to get away with that one. Spearing ball right across goal, hitting the left-hand post. And right across goal, and no one can get a foot in there to give Oakley Cannons a lead. So... As we go into the halftime proceedings, a very entertaining game here, especially the last 10 or so minutes. Just about to start here at Jack Edwards Reserve, and the score is one all here in the Foxtel Cup clash with the Oakley Cannons and South Melbourne. Scorer for South Melbourne was uh, Diaco and Pelican for the Cannons. Massey, some good work early. Into the box, a chance for the Cannons early on. Couldn't get a turn on it there, Nilo. Yusuf goes long. Not a good ball by Yusuf, a chance now. Damian Oss, Massey. Sturgeopoulos' uh, shot. No real power behind it. Start! Yusuf. Sturgeopoulos has made a run. Good work there to get the ball away. The flag stayed down. And a free kick given there to Messi. Very dangerous area now. Important uh, chance here for the Cannons. Sergiopoulos now. Curling ball, the back post is free. And cleared away only just by Fernando. Go, 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 go. Ramazan really should have gone better with that. A chance now for the Cannons. Pelican overrunning the ball. Unlucky for him. Yusuf. South Melbourne go forward now. Waterson. Waterson. Oh, and the chance uh, gone begging there. The ball always going wide. But some uh, good football there. Curling ball. And exposed again, the youngster. Really nowhere near that ball. And uh, luckily for him that uh, there was a bit of a push there. Kovacevic, good header forward. Chance now for the Cannons. Pelican. Great work by Pelican again. Cross the box, headed away. Webster. Yusuf goes long. No, no, no. You bitch. Yusuf. Long ball forward there. 
Ellis fans uh, lit up like a Christmas tree there. The ball forward and a very dangerous ball at that. Webster, not a good clearance, but still useful. Ball gone wide to Waterson. And good uh, work there to get the ball away by Sergiopoulos. Messi. Great work to get that ball in the box there. Pelicans having a lot of effect on that right-hand side. Throw in the box. Diaco. He's done well to hold up. Waterson in the box. And headed away there just in the nick of time. Webster just got his hand to it. And a quick throw forward. Tosic, a uh, bit of a rainmaker there. Rossman does well to head it forward. Nilo. Useful ball that for Pelican. And over the bar. Just on the top of the bar there. And Tosic uh, must have got a hand on that one because the uh, linesman is given a corner. Kovacevic all on his own on the left-hand side now. Stojopol is doing well and he does very well. Waterson, not a good clearance. Webster, Massey. Damianos goes wide to Putakidis. Putakidis, a good deep cross. A chance there. And cleared away there. And really, Tosic really didn't know much about that one. Trying to get it into the box now. Not a great ball there. Chance now for South Melbourne. Curling ball away. Not a great ball away. Fernando! Oh, I'll well, tell you what, worth the effort. And uh, was going wide in the end. No real strain for Webster. South Melbourne go forward now. Waterson. Great work by Waterson. Gets it into the box. And Webster done well. Sure hands again. He's had a good game, has Webster. Long clearance by him. Cardozo. Held the ball up, but uh, no one there for him. Cardozo again. Can he turn? Good work there. Stergiopoulos across goal there. And... Nilo couldn't get across in time. Cardozo held up the ball well. And the Cannons missing a chance there. Great ball by Waterson. And a chance cleared away. Webster diving there to try and save that cross. But in the end, there's a corner for South Melbourne. Danitas. Great ball there by Diaco. And Diaco chance now, and should I say Danitas took it a little bit too far. Some good work there. Again by Waterson. And it's the share of the spoils here at Jack Edwards Reserve. And I'd have to say that is uh, a true indication of the game. The one all result here, sharing the spoils. And a great advertisement here for the Foxtel Cup. Round five here at Jack Edwards Reserve. One all here. Oakley Cannons one. South Melbourne one. So it, was a, it was a fair result. Um, we had the upper hand more or less in the first half, especially the th uh, 35 minutes. And, um, you know, Oakley got the goal, the penalty in the last 10 minutes. Uh, they're on top of us a little bit. Second half was um, 
Look, Oakley had a, you know, a slight advantage over us. Uh, I, and I think I, I put that down to our uh, turnovers more than anything. It's not as if they played better than us, but we were turning the ball over so much, putting ourselves back under the, under the pump. So, um, you know, we've got to try and eliminate that to sort of get on top of teams. And, uh, look, we, we sort of uh, got going every time we played from, from the wings. We, we sort of played, you know, we looked quite dangerous. We didn't do that enough, I thought, uh, today. Um, look, I'll take the point. Coming to Oakley, it's, it's not easy to get a point, and um, look, we're pretty happy with it. On one hand, we're not that happy because we lost the three points last week, but look, uh, we'll take each game as it comes, and uh, yeah, we're, we're, we'll, uh, we'll look forward to the next game, which is against Melbourne Knights. Yeah, well, I, think, I think overall, I think it was a fair result. Um, we didn't start the game well at all. We, again, and uh, it seems to be a bit of a deja vu. We seem to be having a problem starting games well here at... Uh, uh, the home ground, but um, once we uh, started to, you know, we gave them respect, but probably too much respect in the early part of the game, but once we started to compete with them, um, just before the end of the first half, I thought we really started to give them problems, and um, coming in at half-time 1-1 was probably, you know, a little bit fortunate for our case, but I thought second half we, we more than matched them, and, and the game could have went either way, they could have won it, we could have won it, I think, uh, I think a 1-1 result was a fair